Hello, my name is Ioannis Bizoglu and in this tutorial we are going to create if statements plus advanced if statements. To start with, what I would like to do is give a discount to my very good customers. So if a customer has spent more than 60 pounds, I want, I want them to get 10% discount. How do I do that? By creating an if, an if statement. So on the discount section, I'm going to select uh, a function. I'm going to insert an if function and the logical test will be if this value the total to pay including VAT is greater than 60 if this value is true I want the co my customers to get X amount of discount so the discount they're going to get but it's going to be 10% but what I want to give them I want to give them 10% in figures so I'm going to say this value times 10%. Then, if that's false, what I want to give them is zero discount. Click OK. So, because this customer didn't spend uh, more than 60 pounds, then it's going to get no discount. That means that the total to pay, including VAT and discount, is going to be 45 pounds. If I change this value to 61 pounds, Straight away, we'll be able to see that the if statement works as the if statement gave them a 10% discount, but it did apply the discount in figures because what we did, we multiply the total amount times the 10% in order to get the figures. And then what we did, we actually minus took out the discount from the total price, including the AT, and this price now, the, the money that the customer has to pay, included the VAT and the discount. What if I would like to make more advanced if statement? What if I would like my customers who spend in between 40 and 50 pounds to get 5% discount? How do I do within the, se the same cell? How do I add this argument as well? The last figure on our calculation, on our, on our function, is the default value if the arguments are not met. So if this argument is true, this is the result. If this argument is true, then this the result this is the result that we want the customer to have. Otherwise, this is the result we want our customer to have. Before the final result, what we can do, we can create another if statement. So if I type if, now this if statement will be an advanced if statement because I'm going to use the AND function. So I'm going to open a bracket and then I'm going to type AND with a capital letters and then I'm going to open another bracket and I'm going to say if this value is greater, is less than, sorry, than 50, comma, and if this value is greater than 40, what I can do, I, I can include these figures as well, so I'm going to say less than or equals to and greater than or equals to 40. If that's true, and close my bracket, if this argument is true, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to display a specific result. And the result I'm going to specify, it's going to be 5% discount. So what I'm going to say, I'm going to say this figure times five percent and then I'm going to put comma I'm going to go there in the end and I'm going to close one more bracket and press enter so now my argument is an advanced argument so if a customer spends more than 61 pound more than 60 pounds or what we can do here we could actually put on the if statement we could actually put if the customer spend more or equals to 60 pounds so if we put here 60 pounds we will still give them the discount 10 percent but if the customer spends 50 pounds in between 50 and 40 pounds so if i put there 45 pounds we will still give them five percent discount now if the customer spends less than 40 pounds so if i put there 39 pounds 
the customer will still have to pay the total amount of price because we're going to give them no discount. As you can see here, by using if statement and advanced if statement, by we by using the and functionality, okay, we will be able to create more advanced if statement, and as a result, actions will take place on a fly. And this is what we call artificial intelligence, AI. So let's put AI there. Thank you for watching.